Hello everybody, it's Wyvern here, playing as Arguilon against uh, Norska, uh, led by Tyler Bernard on the map of Broken Lake Gully. So, uh, let's break things down. So right off the bat I'm going to pause because the match does start pretty quickly. And uh, to coincide with my uh, tutorial on uh, Arguilon, I wanted to do a bit of a gameplay with an Arguilon themed army in a quick match. Uh, to release alongside it. And uh, so, for my lord, I did pick out uh, Durthu, because who else could you run except the big tree man himself uh, if you're going up uh, with an Argulon themed army? Durthu, of course, absolute melee monster, uh, one of the best lords in the game uh, from a straight up combat perspective. Um, even despite the fact that he is a caster uh, for Lore of Wild, but actually, uh, for Lore of Beasts, but I actually did not bring any spells on him. Uh, the only abilities I brought on him is Wild Heart, uh, Lamentation of Despair, and the Sword of Daith, which is a very powerful AoE ability. Uh, Lamentation of Despair being magic missiles. Uh, he has armor piercing though, he has frenzy, he does a lot of hurt, um, and uh, has very high melee attack, especially with that frenzy, uh, as well as the branch wraith next to him. And of course high leadership, so hopefully that frenzy shouldn't really wear off at all, unless he starts getting mauled very badly. He is standing alongside uh, a tree man and also branch wraith down here, and the branch wraith is once again stripped down quite a bit. Um, coming in with Call of the Woods, um, uh, uh, Smoke and Mirrors, and uh, Earth Blood. Um, Alongside uh, Durthu and his uh, big old boost to uh, energy reserves, or uh, Winds of Magic reserves, I'm definitely hoping to get quite a bit of use out of the uh, um, Earthblood here, and uh, definitely kind of counting on it to back up and stiffen up my uh, army for a long duration, um, and improve the fairly low melee attack on the Treekin to a respectable level. Um, now, for my front line, I did bring um, uh, just two, tree two units of Treekin. Um, these guys over here, and then uh, in the middle, I did bring the Regiment of Renown Firebark Elders. These guys do have 70% uh, fire resistance, and Norska, of course, does have a lot of fire magic, and um, so these guys will provide me with very, very, very solid leader uh, defense against fire, and they'll stiffen up the Durthu, who's very susceptible to it, and this tree man, and all of them, uh, against any sort of fire damage the Norskans might bring. Then I do have two units of ranked up drives out on the flanks. Uh, they are kind of technically my front line, but um, I. If possible, I want to absorb the enemy uh, assault on my Treekin, and then use the Dryads out on the flanks. Uh, finally, in the back, I do have two units of Wildwood Rangers, still following along with this kind of uh, tree theme, because these guys are the guys who um, are supposed to kind of keep tabs on the uh, rogue uh, Dryads and uh, such in uh, Sithral and uh, in the Wildwood. And finally, uh, the Waywatchers, uh, two units of them. Mostly just here to uh, kind of shut down uh, mammoths, which was my biggest fear, because tree can don't do that well against mammoths. They can um, hold him against them for a very long time, not take too much damage, but they don't dish out that much hurt to him. Uh, and the Hawkeyes of Drakir, of course, these guys, I'm hoping to kind of use these guys' discouragement ability to help uh, chase off mammoths much more efficiently, uh, as well as their smoke bomb to protect my Waywatchers a little bit and uh, protect themselves if needed. So, right off the bat, uh, I'll throw things in slow-mo. And uh, my opponent's army, he did bring Wolfric uh, mounted on a horse. Uh, Wolfric did come in with Seafang, and I don't actually think he brought Hunter of... Did he bring Hunter of Champions? It actually looks like he might not have. Um, he did bring Hunter of Champions, and of course Stand Your Die. Uh, so very strong abilities there. And of course, there, there's no way this wasn't happening. Fire against Wood Elves, very strong, very strong ability. Uh, Fear about Bale Fiend here. Does have armor piercing, does have armor sundering, magic damage. Uh, coming in with a uh, Vortex spell. Um, the uh, Flame Storm, Flaming Sword of Rune, and Cascading Fire Cloak. All of, and surprisingly, no Fireball, but it does have Kindle Flame, which will give me a 12% weakness to fire. And that means that even with the uh, resistance uh, from the Firebark Elders, um, the nearby tree units will still be a little bit vulnerable to fire. They will still be taking some extra damage from that fire. Now, um, alongside them, of course, is the Soul Crusher here, the war, uh, Regiment of Round War Mammoth. Uh, it does have a 44% damage resistance that it can pop off. Um, of course, causing Terror Mammoths are a very strong unit, uh, but. Uh, I was hoping to shoot it down with my Way Watchers. And then the front line is a mix of units. Uh, there are three Marauder Champions. Uh, these are very solid against Wood Elves because they do have decent armor. They're fairly mobile, which means they can chase down Wood Elf Skirmishers. And uh, they have shields, and of course they do decent amounts of hurt, uh, which is good against Wood Elves who lack armor. Uh, then Marauder Berserkers in the center here. Uh, these guys, a lot of DPS, uh, and uh, will trade very well against things like uh, Eternal Guard or Azurai Spears. And, even Wildwood Rangers, and here in the middle, Marauder Spearmen, just to kind of deal with large. So these guys do lack armor piercings, but uh, with most likely with Flaming Sword Rune, they should perform pretty well. And uh, then over here on the right flank, three units of Norsk Ice Wolves, and these guys are very quick. They uh, have a Frostbite, which means any unit that gets caught by them is not going to be going very far. Um, so seeing that they're over here, uh, I decide to push straight in, and I start pushing straight down the hill here, uh, moving in to engage my opponent as quickly as I possibly can. 
and almost immediately my way watchers are opening fire. Um, I initially I think the first volley went to the Marauder Spearman, uh, but now the following up volleys are going after the Soul Crusher. And as you can see, its HP is dropping very very quickly. Um, when firing off at long range, uh, way watchers actually get a bonus to their damage. Uh, 25% bonus to their armor piercing damage, which is pretty huge. And as you can see, the Mammoth is just not having a good day. His morale is dropping with that Discourage affecting it, even though it's a triple veteran unit. And here you can see my army is already plowing into the middle here, uh, completely fearless, knowing that they've got that fire resistance going for him and tearing through my opponent's units. The Tree Man is over here. Uh, there's a Vortex spell going uh, down a Firestorm uh, right on top of my Wildwood Rangers. I just pushed straight through it, though. Um, and, of course, it being a Vortex spell, it immediately wanders off, uh, off to obscurity. These uh, wolves are still making their way around the flank, and uh, I'm, it is a bit of a race against time. I know they are there. I did see them, and I'm simply hoping that my archers can scare off this mammoth before uh, the wolves are on top of them, because I did push both my dryads in as well as these uh, Wild Rangers uh, bef uh, to defend uh, to against the uh, champions here, and that means that they're not here to defend my archers. But as you can see, the mammoths is already routed off. Uh, this is the mammoths have very low morale. Normal mammoths and feral mammoths are even worse than the soul crusher, and they are abs this one is absolutely falling apart in routing. Um, over here, the Wildwood Rangers uh, have had Earthblood casted on them. I've already casted one Earthblood in the center, now it's going down over here on the flank against the Dryads. Dryads and um, Wildwood Rangers are immune to Terran. One of the big advantages are uh, psychology. One of the big advantages, and here you can see the Ice Wolves are going in, but I do pop a Smoke Bomb, trying to protect this second unit of Void Watchers, at least for a little bit. Um, and one of the big advantages of... Um, one of the big advantages of uh, most of these elf units, the Dryads, the uh, um, Wildwood Rangers, the Treekin, they're all immune to psychology. And so here I'm really kind of capable of tanking through my opponent's damage output and just land the smackdown. I mean, here you can see the Tree Man kind of beating up on Wolfric and uh, his uh, Berserker friends. The Berserkers aren't very good against Treekin at all. They will do pretty well against the Wildwood Rangers, but I've managed to get them into an optimal fight here with the Marauder Champions. The Dryads won't do well against the Champion, but, but that's okay. Um, and over here you can see Durthu just laying the smackdown on this poor uh, Femir Balefian. Now Sword of Death is going down, and it's causing constant AoE damage around Durthu. Uh, sort of like the Mist of the Lady, except it is an ability. And it's just slowly but surely melting these units down. Uh, and you can see these lightly armored berserkers don't stand a chance, and they're just getting annihilated. Um, Treekin, of course, doing very well against the champions, even though they will not do very much damage to them because they do lack armor piercing and their damage is fairly low. Um, but over here, poor Wolfric is just getting overwhelmed by the Tree Man and, uh, and the... Uh, Branch Wraith. And the Branch Wraith, of course, is providing some of that AoE melee uh, attack buff, which uh, m means that um, Treekin and, uh, Dirt and uh, Tree Man and those units who normally have a pretty pathetic uh, melee attack are doing pretty well. In the meantime, over here, uh, my Dryads did get back to defending these archers and uh, routed off these wolves. So that that point, my opponent's army did shatter. You can see, try to bring that Mammoth back, but uh, that was too little too late. Um, so yeah, that was a that was a bit of a fun game just to uh, go go alongside the uh, go alongside the uh, Argulon tutorial I'm really, I was I released uh, and um, one of the trials just an Argulon themed army. Of course, uh, the the Way Watchers kind of being uh, the Wardens of the Woods, uh, the Wild Rangers, uh, the other Elf unit that kind of keeps the uh, Rogue. Tree men in check, so I figured those would be ideal to combine with a Treekin themed army, and while at the same time providing you with armor piercing that this force would otherwise lack, with the exception of Durthu, of course. Uh, Durthu, of course, being an absolute champ, tore through that Femir Bale Fiend, uh, and uh, kind of messed up my opponent's entire center. He, of course, does cause terror, and it's a very strong unit in general. Mammoth got very little done. He trampled through a few Dryads and some Wildwood Rangers, but uh, got focused down by those Way Watchers. And uh, that, that was basically that. The Waywashers are very, very strong uh, against Mammoths. Um, I think that I would have been better off, if I wasn't going for a themed army, I would have definitely been better off going for Starfire Shafts um, on the... Uh, on the... Uh, from in the uh, range department and get provided... That way I'd have enough money for either an extra unit of... Uh, uh, wild Rangers, or realistically, if I wasn't going for the themed army, I could throw in some uh, Wild Riders. Something like that, because while these uh, Hawkeyes and the Waywashers were a lot of fun, uh, they were a bit, they are a bit overkill. Their armor piercing is not really necessary against most Norse units. So Tunis of Starfire Shafts would probably done the job just as well, and uh, been a lot cheaper to boot. Um, but yeah, it was a, it was a pretty fun game. You can see the uh, Treekin did pretty well. None of these units did too much damage except the Wild Rangers who are and uh, Durthu who are of course damage dealers. Uh, the Tree Man of course did very well against uh, Wolfric and. Um, the uh, wild, uh, the Waywatchers tore up that mammoth, and that, uh, so they of course didn't get too many kills. But um, 
Still respectable for Mermis. My opponent got some good use out of his champions because they, of course, will trade very efficiently with Dryads. Uh, Dryads, though, are pretty... Uh, most of the magic damage is pretty strong against Norska, which tends to tends to have a lot of units that rely either on physical resistance or... Uh, um, either physical resistance or... Um, uh, regeneration. And so the fire and magic uh, tends to be really solid against uh, those units. Um, but actually, my opponent didn't really bring many units that with physical resistance or any of that stuff. But definitely a good game to my opponent. Had a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> it was entertaining to try a, a bit of a different uh, a different take on the Wood Elves, uh, going on an Argulon oriented build or with Argulon, I guess. Uh, so yeah, uh, as usual, I do hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe down below. Uh, if you're interested in Argulon in the campaign, be sure to check that out. Um, as usual. Uh, if you have any comments, concerns, any questions about uh, Quick Match, any of that sort of stuff, or any recommendations for builds you'd like to see done, uh, be sure to post those out in the comments, uh, and I'll respond as soon as I can. Um, as usual, I appreciate you all for watching, and uh, Wyvern out!